In this video, I will show how to tie the string to the lever arm of your mousetrap car. This is a pretty critical step because any slippage of the string on the back axle is going to result in a loss of power. I recommend starting by giving yourself plenty of room, at least five extra inches of material. It may also be helpful to disconnect the spring so that you're not fighting that. On the lever arm end, I generally recommend tying two half hitches. If this video is not clear enough, you could probably look up two half hitches online. Essentially, I'm going to go around the back of the string and through the loop that I created. And that is one half hitch. Now, if you are familiar with the fisherman's knot, that would be an excellent way to make this attachment also. But I find these two half hitches work really work just fine. If you've used a spool, you can cut a notch in that spool. And I want my the loop that I tie here to hook onto that notch or whatever I've designed for the back of the axle to connect this string. I'm gonna tie a loop here just a little bit longer. So what's critical here is that your, your string um, needs to hold securely, but it also has to let go. So if I keep, if I hold the end of that loop in place as I tie a simple overhand knot, that should keep the distance the same. Reattach the spring. Get my loop started in that groove. Okay, now I'm probably going to have to assist a little at first. But once started, I can wind around the spool or I can wind around the axle. The spool is going to give me more torque if I find that's what I want. I may want that for starting out. I may want to wind, I may find better results winding around the axle. And that is how we tie the string to the lever arm so that it can transfer power to the back wheels.